What's up my ninjas, it's Dee here, and today I'm gonna to show you how you can move those already pre-made hairs from the beta version into this new updated version. Um, it's gonna be the new way you can share your quote-unquote hair presets. They're not called that anymore, and they're not even the same file type, but you'll see what I mean in a second. Before we get started, please leave a like if you're watching this. It really helps out my channel, and obviously comment, subscribe if my tutorials end up helping you. It really does help my channel out and helps me grow. So let's begin. So of course, the first thing I'm gonna do is just grab a model I wanna grab the hair from. I already converted this from the beta version. That's all that's happened to this file so far. Sometimes you'll notice that your file like won't appear in this space and honestly just tab out and then your avatar will appear. It like, it lags as we're not surprised it does. Uh, you'll notice my uh, background is gray. That's because top right, if you go to settings, you can see this under settings. So my eyes, I changed it to a dark version. You're gonna go to hairstyle. Like my last tutorial showed, in order for you to be able to edit your hair, you're just gonna click a random thing, hit edit hair, hit control Z, and your hair will appear. Now you're gonna exit out, hit save as new item. Wait for it to do it's laggy thing and now your hair is right here so where is this hair in your directory as in like on your computer in the beta version it was in a folder called hair presets so where is it now well now it's in this folder called noo all hair i don't know why so this is where it is on my computer i'm going to i can't really zoom how do i zoom i will zoom okay so this is where it is in my computer this is where it saved automatically when I first installed the app. I didn't change anything in the directory, so this is the default. Obviously, if you changed it or if you're on an Apple computer, it's going to be different. I don't know where it's going to be, but this is what it is on Windows default settings. So if we go back. Pixiv is the same exact folder as the beta version, which is this one saved into. Go through it, go to custom items, and go to all hair. This file appears. It's called Vroid custom item. It's not a JSON file. It's not like a preset folder. It's this. And I think it's, it's by date, as you can tell. And I don't know what the last numbers are. Time? I don't know. So this file is what saves your, f your uh, hairs, like your tails, your ears, whatever the fuck is on this hair. It's going to be in this file now. So I am going to try renaming it. So if I copy this and put it in a different folder, let's say I put it in the old hair presets folder. Okay. I'm going to delete this now and I'm going to go back to the model selection and don't save. So if that's the case, it technically should not be here because I deleted it. Get it? So if I rename this, I haven't tried renaming it, but I fucking hope we can because these numbers are not going to be helpful. So if I name this as my hair, and I copy and paste it into this. I feel like I should shut the program down because that's how most programs work, but let's try without shutting it down. So I'm gonna make a new model just to see, you know, the hair thing works. Uh, fingers crossed. I'm gonna go to custom. So in order to get to the custom thing, you gotta get out of this hairstyle set, custom, and it doesn't appear, okay. Okay, hairstyle, custom, and the hairs are not in here even though it says it's right there. Really fucking weird. Save as new item, and then will the hairs appear then? The hairs appear then. What the fuck is happening? What the actual hell? Why does it do that? Okay, so like... What's happening is that it is reading it. I could rename this file. I renamed it. This is what this is. I'm really frustrated because it makes no fucking sense. It should work. So if you go by the time slots, this is the newest thing I made. So if I go by the dates the same, actually, yeah, okay, this is the date. This is the time. I don't know if this is in seconds. Like it's nine in the morning, 920, 920. So I just made this one. So I'm going to name this Jenny because that was, this is her file name, Jenny Belly. Um, then the second one is Shark. So yeah, if you check the time right here, I'm gonna name this Shark and I'm gonna name this one Mine. Okay, okay. So we have all this. 
I'm frustrated. <laughs> okay, so we have we have these saved, these file types named. This is the hair preset, okay? Now what we're going to do is, I guess basically what we're doing is we're tricking the system. It's really stupid. Um, what I don't understand is that it doesn't appear on a brand new base. It only appears on a base that already exists. So for example, if I'm to grab mine, this is so stupid. This is absolutely stupid. Uh, <laughs> okay, so what's gonna happen is that when you go to hairstyle and you go to custom, nothing appears, right? Right. So you're going to trick it into thinking, right, that you you don't have hair. And then you hit Z, your hair appears. You're gonna exit out and you're closed without saving. And the hairs appear, like what the freaking A? Oh, it's so stupid. It's so stupid. Okay, well it works. Cause now I have my hair presets and they're named. Look, I can give this, any of these files to another uh, Vroid user and they can put it in this folder and it'll read, okay? It's, you have to do the stupid workaround though, because when you first do it, it's like, no, there's nothing there. But then you do the stupid cheat thing and then suddenly it appears like magic. I don't know, I, I don't know. I'm hoping an update gets fixed, but hey, this is how you install presets, guys. And it's pretty cool that this works. Um, I'm happy that you can rename it because having numbers and dates would kill me. So yeah. That's how you do it. Um, sorry for the little middle like freak out because that was really frustrating and I hope this was helpful. If it is, please leave a like, please subscribe, please comment below what you want me to show next because obviously this new program is very confusing for all of us. So yeah, that's it. I'll see you guys soon. Bye. <laughs>